Welcome back to another very important episode of Version Wars. In today's video, the sixth rank evolution team will try to dethrone or take away the position of the fourth rank outsiders team. Four teams need to win this match if they want to be in the top four. In the previous video, if you haven't watched it, the players game for the pedigree, first pedigree of the match doesn't get to it, it gets reversed into a big back body drop, like I was saying in the previous video. Brock Lesnar lost against Rating RKO. That means the top three teams have just have got one loss in them and all three have qualified. There's only one spot, another big bag body drop reversal of the finisher. So that means there are three teams, one spot, defending champions evolution, need to win all two. Outsiders will want to win all two if they want to qualify. Brock Lesnar has to win the next one. It needs to expect that Evolution wins this to play with the first pedigree of the night against Kevin Nash. Could tag this win to pledge the outsiders in the previous video. I think they won against uh, the teams of facing. They lost against Rick Rankio, sorry. And Rick Rankio have won 6 in a row. Lock and Connection, on the other hand, have won 5 in a row. Undertaker won 4 in a row after his defeated by Rock and Saw Connection and now he's won 2 more. Batista now with a Batista ball on Kevin Nash, the MVP of almost every tournament he plays in. Batista hasn't been that good in this tournament. That's why Evolution are in big trouble. Kevin Nash now is eliminated with a pinfall and Scott Hall gets hit with another Batista bomb. Batista is on fire tonight. If Batista wins this for his team, it's going to be a very big comeback for Evolution. Evolution's next match is super easy, Latino World Order. So just win this match. It is much. It is not. With Brock Lesnar, outsiders will fight for the final spot in the next match. So one of them is getting qualified and one of them isn't. Brock Lesnar, the T-Stars team, Evolution, has won against both of them if they win tonight, of course. So, if they win tonight, it's pretty much a lock that they are qualifying for the tournament and they are in the top 4. When Evolution is in the top 4, they always win. It is pretty much the case in the previous two tournaments. Batista was trying to run away for no reason. He is a big guy, why doesn't he want to run away now? Big power slam. Spot all takes a bit of damage. Batista 8. The MVP of the Ruthless Aggression, the inaugural champions, is now legal. Close line connects. Batista is distracted. That's a mistake. Kevin Nash is going for a jackknife. I think this will not get reversed. Doesn't get reversed. First finisher connects on the MVP of the Evolution. He kicks out at two. He almost has a signature. And now Kevin Nash is hitting a finisher on Kratos version of Triple H. That was the only definition I could have come up with, sorry. <laughs> Rick from uh, Kevin Nash, a big boot, goes for the cover. Batista will have a signature, he never give Batista or The Rock or Triple H a signature. They will go for it. Spine bus is the easiest move for it in this game. And now, punch to the face, Batista hasn't done anything. This version of course, a big splash. He still hasn't taken any damage to his body, I don't know why. Batista slides out of the ring and throws Scott Hall on the barricade and goes for a big power slam on the floor. Batista needs to go back to the ring. Why is he attacking? Scott Hall on the outside. Evolution are way too serious for this match. He was a pretty like they were not that serious in the previous matches. Now they are super focused. But this version of Batista who needs to do the most of work is getting beaten up. Turns him around, Batista with a close line. Finally, some offense from this version of Batista. He needs to go for Batista ball and gets hit with a close line. Kratos Triple H is back on the apron. Batista wants to go for a tag to his evolution partner Triple H, but Kevin Nash was blocking it. No, Triple H still tags in. Triple H already doesn't have a finisher. Batista was still not out of the ring. Sidewalk slam, Batista. I don't know what's wrong with Batista over here tonight. Batista's current version did some work tonight. Suplex 
but the boosts are triple edge on Kevin Nash. But never count out the outsiders, they are a very strong team. All of them have taken damage on their body though. This is the younger version of Triple H. Who oh, hit the finisher as soon as he was in the match, so really good from Triple H. Reversal by Kevin Nash. I actually want I'm a big fan of both of the team. A little bit more biased towards the evolution, but I really like Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Don't get me wrong. If they get eliminated, I'm going to be pretty sad too, so it's a very equal match. Double big back body drop, but evolution needs to win this. It will because they're such a strong team that are defending champions. The combat is actually very close because almost every team has a chance except the Latino World Order. They are just a bit of pushovers, but still they have one too. So they are not really that bad. They are like on um, eighth position. They have won more matches than the generation X and you don't see and now the bad guy is setting triple H up for the razor's edge. No slide out this time around. Hits Triple H with the Razor's Edge. As Batista 08 is going to break it up. Scott Hall and Batista are going to fire it out. Whips Batista out of the ring. Scott Hall is going to follow him, it seems. But he is chill, he is on the apron. But Scott Hall isn't chill. He is going for another finisher. Crucifix power bomb. Triple H is out. Batista's kind version tags in. Spine Buster attempt is foiled. Bulldog from Scott Hall and a slap to the face insulting the MVP of the team. Batista, together I'm counting him as the MVP but Batista goes for a spine buster. Batista is just an animal. He is rightly named, rightfully named the animal. He is so strong even in the game. IRL he's really strong. But even John Cena is strong in real life. He doesn't win in the game. I think the advantage is mostly because of the moves because the people with the most hard hitting moves are really dominant in such matches for example Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley and on the other hand Roman Reigns doesn't have that good of moves he isn't that strong other than his spear because he has a lot of rating he's really strong another example is The Undertaker he is rated 96 despite that he is so Strong, like he should have been 99 at least. I feel like he should have been. Kevin Nash, I'm working the legs, turns him around. Is that a submission move? Yes, it is a submission move, but Batista isn't going to tap out. Batista almost caught himself in trouble. I'm so excited for this match that I can't even speak. One version of Triple is out, one version of Kevin Nash is out. Batista has a finish here. He doesn't go for it. He tried to go for it. Kevin Nash with a jackknife attempt connects it. The running power slam. Batista is out. Batista is out. What happened there? Batista, it is legal. Batista, it needs to do something if he wants to win this match because outsiders are getting away with the victory. Tucks underneath. Arm drag on Batista. Eight. Who goes for a possum thing. Smart from Batista. He needs to go for a finisher. Yes, he's going for a finisher on Scott Hall. Disconnects. Scott Hall is eliminated, but these two does his second elimination. This is such a good match. Close line. Another close line. Close one hasn't been the best move for Batista, but he reverses another move. Try to power him up. But for the match is way too big. He's just way too big for Batista. Marisa is not a small man by the way, he is a really big man. This is Kevin Nash is really big. He dwarfed Brock Lesnar in that interaction with Hulk Hogan. Kevin Nash is going for a choke slam, gets reversed. Batista has a spine monster and a Batista bomb going for a military press slam. Kevin Nash wanted to roll out Triple H. Freitas version is now legal. He goes for a whip into the corner. I think he'll go for a knee. He goes for a clothesline instead. Should go for a pedigree. Instead, he's showing off. He wants to he tag out. Kevin, I just want to tag out. So let's take a commercial break. Commercial break is over after the kick to the 
Back of the head, Batista is now legal. Shoulder block blocked by Batista. Oh, try to go for Batista. Mike got reversed. Batista bomb got reversed. Okay. Delayed vertical suplex by Kevin Nash and uh, Batista tried to go for Jack Knife instead. Gets hit with a Batista bomb is Kevin Nash and W. He survives. That is good from Batista. Dodge has a great go for goes for a Batista bomb. Kevin Nash is back to speed, but gets hit with a spine buster. Batista is setting up for a finisher. This is really good from Batista. Really enjoying it. Another Batista bomb connects. Kevin Nash is going to be eliminated after this. Kevin Nash survives. Okay, there's a real window. Good sequence from Batista. That's why he's so dangerous. He is he is single-handedly responsible for the most amount of 1v4s in this series of tournaments have done in 2K23. I'll be more in 2K24. Much better in terms of commentary, production. Matches will be the same, I think. The matches don't need to be improved. Uh, Triple H is now working on the legs. Something he learned from his mentor back in Revolution, Ric Flair. Fifth of four. King of Nash is out. This is good from Revolution. If they win this, like I was saying, they will have the tiebreaker. They will be above Brock Lesnar. And outsiders. I will tell you after this match is over how much they have, the, how well they are ranked on the table. Scott Hall is going for a whip into the corner. I think he's setting up for the forward slam from the top rope. He is. Triple H might not be eliminated after this one. He might be. You never know. No, he gets reversed. Forward slam gets reversed. Elbows to the top of the head. And now just drops him. Triple H is back on the floor, but he is a bit shook. But he's the first one back on his feet. But he is now legal. Doesn't have a finisher. Triple H should have gone for the finisher. Both men collide. Batista turns him around. Suplex. No, a drop. Face first. And now goes for a neck break. But the animal is on fire. He did two eliminations and almost destroyed him and Nash on his own. The Triple match has one finish in the game, right? Or does he have a figure four? I've never seen him hit one. So was that the finisher? And now Batista, his comeback move, he doesn't need a comeback move from 2K, he needs this move. It's the triple clothesline, always does it for evolution on whatever team he's playing for. And now he'll go for a tag as Triple H has a signature and two finishers. And a Bulldog doesn't get reversed. A lot of Bulldogs haven't been reversed in this match. I just never have been reversed. Oh, well, he hasn't gone for the finish here. Instead, he's going for a whip for no reason. And now Triple H, fired finisher it seems. Doesn't get reversed, Scott also survives. He has one more finisher in him. Scott Hall breaks out of the pinfall with Ms. Lindsay. And now Triple H won't wait. He'll go for another, but he's still on Triple H. Pedigree. Are you pedigree? No, it wasn't tired. Pedigree. Pendulum backbreaker. But Scott Hall needs to go for the finish if he wants to win this. Triple H wastes his stamina. Okay, this is actually looking good for Scott Hall at the moment. Because Triple H wasted his uh, finish here, wasted his stamina. But he has Scott Hall in the finals carry. On the ring apron. And now, okay, that was not the. Uh, Look the most damage. I think Triple H put the most damage in that move. He landed awkwardly on the floor. It is not the train Mac. Triple H now working the legs of the big man. I don't think it makes a difference to be honest. Working on the legs is do a lot in this game. Awesome attack misses. And now Triple H has a spine buster. Instant ops to go for the knee. And now dragging him. Center of the ring. I think his signature is figure four. Yes, his signature is figure four. I never knew that. Reversal by Scott Hall. Doesn't go for a finisher. Instead, opts for a whip. 
I had to go for something but couldn't go for it. Pepperlet wanted to go for a spine buster. Instead, he had picked up for a snake eyes. From Scott on now choking him on the floor. And now picks him up. This is the moment he needs to go for his crucifix. What is Scott all doing? He usually doesn't wait for any moment. And now reverse it. Triple H also doesn't go for a spine buster. Sort of goes for a shin breaker. But I must say, isn't shin breaker. And Scott Hall kicks out too barely. That was a really tired kick out from Scott Hall. Triple H needs to focus. He's wasting a lot of time. Picks him up. I think this is the pedigree. He's going for a tag. Okay, that was a lucky reversal for Triple H to be honest. And now Scott Hall doesn't go for a finisher. Slap to the back of the head. Now he's going for a finisher. Crucifix connects. Triple H might be out after this. Does this connect? Does connect. Triple H survives. But Deesa needs to break it up if he wants to survive. Okay, Scott Hall with the first finisher finally. If Scott Hall does it, it's going to be heroic. Like another one with 3 against evolution. Batista 08 is still surviving and it has happened twice now that Batista 08 is surviving but still they do a 1v3 which is something Batista 08 does not his opponents and now goes for April slam this is a really close match closer than I expected this they started so well did evolution fell off actually outsiders actually well in comparison into evolution no great taken from Evolution or Outsiders. Both are really good teams. Look at like Suplex. And now Scott Hall is showing off. He has the match in his grasp. But he needs to get Triple H back to the ring. He doesn't. He needs to get a finisher. Which they don't, they don't usually do on the outside. Only Roman Reigns hits a finisher on the outside because of the running spear. I think he's going for a whip into the ring. Yes he is. And now Scott Hall. Okay, Batista might get tagged in after this. Big shoulder tackle. Batista needs to do something here. Reversal. Now Scott Hall will go for a chop. Gets reversed. Another reversal. Another in the hook. Another punch. So slap to the back of the head. Scott Hall is going for a follow slam. Reversal by Batista. Who has a signature? You never make a mistake like Batista. One more move. Power slam will stun Scott Hall. Doesn't eliminate him, but Batista will set up for a finish or a signature. No way he doesn't. Yes, Batista ensures that evolution qualifies for the tournament. And let's see, I'll just calculate the score real quick. And watch the replay of the match. Earlier, pedigree is in. Batista Bong absolutely took the game away from outside. Good comeback from them though. Because scores aren't updating, but I'm pretty sure Evolution have moved to the fourth spot. Outsiders are now fifth, and Brock Lesnar is sixth. So Evolution are pretty much qualified regardless of the result of Brock Lesnar and the Outsiders match. But Batista needs to ensure that he wins against. Uh, who is he facing? LW, Latino World Order. I was confirming as Evolution finally gets a victory in this tournament and this was a good victory for them too. So, yes, Evolution are at the fourth spot of the table. And I will see you in the next video with more two, two more matches in this set, which are not that important, but you will still see them. Thanks for watching this video. Have a really good day.